Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the Tutelage.com. So today I won't be doing any developing or programming video, but you know it would be a just kind of a fun where we would be changing our Windows desktop to the Mac desktop. So whatever you guys see out here, it is not a Mac operating system. I am still on Windows, but somehow I managed to change it to look like a Mac desktop. So what you guys have to do in order to get the same effects is go to the site that is winxsoft.com. Go to their download.html page or you guys can just copy this from this URL. I'll just zoom it for you and then come here to the bottom and download this particular file which says download stp 15 point zip or whichever would be the new version at the time you would be watching this video so it would be a 30 mb file you can just download it it will take five to six minutes then you will find something very similar to this file that says snow transformation pack just you know start running this file and guys do make sure before running this file go to your control panel go to user accounts and again user accounts come here to user account control settings you will find this in a center out here just make it to zero okay make it to zero hit okay and then restart your computer that's very important you need to restart your computer come back and then run that exe file it will just ask you to do some normal installations the way you do the installation for some other softwares just do it the same way and it will take some time in order to get you these kind of changes and you will find uh, Mac you know like very similar to Mac desktop on your Windows so guys if you will see not only the home screen not only these icons but everything is have been changed to mac uh, desktop so if you guys will go to a normal browser see it shows these are from mac not from window even if you will open anything like these start menu button also it changed the microsoft bu uh, microsoft button to the mac button and also if you will you know uh, shut down your computer you will restart it it will not show you that boring windows screen it will show you the mac very interesting and the awesome screen okay so this is what you guys need to do you can also play with your settings that can be done by right clicking on this taskbar mine is not working right now because i try to play with some of the settings i have changed them but uh, hardly matters guys you can just leave it to default and you will get an option to change the properties you can change it you can whether whether you can use these small icons or you can uh, you know switch to the bigger one I like the small one I uh, so that's the reason I'm using it and one more thing you guys can do I'm just gonna search for Mozilla okay that's not right actually I was trying to do something else. I'm gonna hit say Mozilla. I'm just gonna create a desktop option. Oh, you know what? It's not even letting me create a desktop option. I'm not sure why. <clears throat> because I was just playing with the settings. Hardly matters. You guys don't do it. I'm just gonna fix it back. Uh, if you guys wanna add any icon to these floating icons, you guys can do one thing first create a desktop shortcut once that icon would be on your desktop just drag it down out here and paste it anywhere you want okay so it says can't save configuration to and i file access is denied because again the same thing was happening but still it saved that particular web template out here from me you guys won't get these kind of errors because you just gonna leave your settings to default i'm just kind of crazy you know i'm always trying to play with these things but i have to fix it again to get cool effects not the error messages and uh, 
if you guys just want to take anything off because I don't need paint I'm just gonna drag it off and it will get finished so you guys can customize this the way you want it and uh, till the next time goodbye